they come up with really good questions like, you know, why did they only choose four years for the president but six years for the Senate? And why do you need to be older to be a senator than a member of the House of Representatives? So I think before a teacher takes on any of these primary resources like the Constitution or the Bill of Rights, they have to be very knowledgeable of it yourself. Because if you don't know it, it's, it's going to make it really, I think, more challenging for the kids to understand it if you don't have a grasp uh, yourself. Do they choose like random people, so none of the people who are uh, going to get guilty, like know them, the jury? Before the uh, judge and the attorneys for the plaintiff and the defendant determine the jury pool, they ask a series of questions to make sure that you don't know either the attorneys, that you don't know the defendant, that you're not closely related to the topic that the case is about. They try to it's called the voir dire process. They're trying to find out as much information from potential jurors before they actually seat the jury. Primary resources um, can challenge sort of a more generalized view of history as written in the book. Not only does it make you question history, but it gives you perhaps another point of view of history that you didn't have before, or maybe even question more than what the book stated. It was really refreshing to see that they took something from class and brought it outside of their outside the classroom to knowledge that they saw on television or on the internet. Amendment two is the idea that you have the right to bear and keep uh, arms, and that is, in other words, people can own handguns. And the headline was "Gun Owners Seeking Open Carry Law." Did anybody actually take a moment to look at that headline and the information that was underneath it? Yeah, they were, it seemed to me that they were saying that gun owners wanted to be able to just carry the guns out open in public. Exactly. There is a movement in Illinois, this is written by the Chicago Tribune, that there are people who support the idea of gun rights where instead of having your gun concealed or locked up, that you could carry your handgun unconcealed. And this ties back to the whole purpose of the teaching American history is that you want your kids to think critically, historically critically. History is just not the passage of time or something you read in a book. It's something that's happening now and we're a part of and we, we can learn from what's happened in the past and we can also apply it to what's going on today.